What's up guys, Jez here from Whiskerfly and welcome to another episode. I just clicked, I normally don't click. I don't know why we're doing new things this episode. Um, welcome to another episode of Whiskerfly TV. It is another episode of your favourite weekly whiskey TV show that we record late at night so that we keep the neighbours awake and uh, they hate us. I don't know why they keep doing this, um, but it's episode 141 and I do have the fiends here. So welcoming both these beautiful fuckers. They never come at once, and I really want them both to come at the same time. Shower me in love. Mr. Glossolane, Jacob, and, uh... Yeah, sorry, it's BYO glasses. Because I... Thank you, because Do I don't... Glass? I have a Redwood Empire glass just to the right of me. Let me intro me in again. I have Jacob and Jack, um, aka Glossolane and Jack and the bottle. Please, gents. Welcome. I didn't show you any love last time. You, you, you're looking well. Yes, he always looks well. Thank you. Is this? <laughs> Hello. Careful. Um, <laughs> mic off. Sorry, sir. Do you mind just reaching out and grabbing my glass? Well, I was not prepared. Mic off or mic off? Um. <laughs> are we having another jack off? <laughs> Is that. <laughs> we don't have any jacks. What's happening? You're probably trying to work out what. What the fuck do you think I'm here for? <laughs> I thought you were here for a good time. <laughs> Well, obviously not. It's not going to be a good time, but I'm sure it'll get a lot time. better because we have a bottle. That was close. Was it? Yeah, it was close. I wouldn't say it was close. I just got the hand in the way. But we have a bottle of... Actually, that looked really good. I'm glad it did that. Yeah, that was weird. That was really weird. It, like, <laughs> stopped. We stopped time. I think we broke it. I hope we did. Um, We have a bottle of... Ow, I just flicked myself in the nut. <laughs> this is utter fucking chaos. This... We've got a bottle of emerald giant. Yep. We've got a giant emerald here. And it's shining bright like a giant emerald. Emerald giant. From Redwood Empire. Thank yep. you. Look at you. you there you go. Almost Minimum just... four years, 90 yeah. proof. You. 45%. You guys don't yeah. normally do this. Coming in at uh, 150 in Australia through the lovely guys at Honey Barrel. Yep. This episode is sponsored by Honey Barrel. Nice. So, so um, thank you, Kia. We love you, Kia. We do love you, Kia. He's an amazing man, a beautiful, gorgeous man. Yeah. Oh, look at you go. <laughs> Easy target. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, please continue. I, um, I, I, I'm happy to take a back seat on this. Uh, koala, 150 Eagle, 35 to $50. I thought you said it was a possum. He doesn't like a possum, but we, we've been we, over we, it. We've been over this. Yeah. 95 rye, 5% five mo five molly barley. Standard MGP mash. Yeah. yeah. It is MGP. It, yeah. yeah. As with all, Redwood Empire is named after a tree in... Where was it again? Redwood... What's the place? I forgot. It depends on where, but it's up around San Francisco. Well, this, this is why you... Um, oh, it's, it's up like, around San Francisco yeah. area. Yeah, yeah. It runs okay. anywhere okay. from the bottom of San Fran all the way up to Oregon, yeah. um, and then runs a little bit back from there. I didn't actually write that bit down, because I'm hopefully remembering from the first episode where we recorded the Boo Right. Now, um, while you... You gents are looking at me, looking at the camera. Um, I'm waiting for you to do something. Well, no, I want. <laughs> oh, I was just—I thought this thing was running itself because you guys kind of just took the reins here and just um, did it Greg style. Um, I don't know what's going to be released first. Continue, so, um, continue. Can someone give me a bottle of pop? And um, I'm going to get Jack to pour because he doesn't really get the opportunity to pour for me. <laughs> oh, oh, daddy! That was a good scrumptious. <laughs> We got approval from the audience. Not by par either on the first one. No spillage. Oh, oh you! Oh, I fucked it on that one. <laughs> that was <laughs> fucking made contact as well. The noise in my ear was fucking horrifying. That was. Is that wet? <laughs> my ears wet, which is fucking weird. <laughs> Emerald Giant from Redwood. I think I'm like I'm. I'm interested to see how we go rolling into like these serious films is that what you call it? After you call, you call, you call it this is this serious, serious film. <laughs> yeah because the first one we did was a little loose um, so let me kick into the notes and expressions infos this that and the other good breakdown so you guys can understand where we're coming from from the marketing side of this beautiful juice. So straight off the bat the Emerald Giant is a marketing ploy by MGP to move the beautiful for you product 
Jacob kind of gave me that line earlier. I'm like, do you know what? I'm going to roll with it because it is genius. Um, MGP, if you're not familiar, it is uh, Midwest grain, uh, what, grain ingredients in MGP. Uh, Midwest grain products, is that? Uh, it's now, what's it called? Ross and Squib. It's their juice, but it's squid. purchased by... I'm a crab. This is Ross. And that's what I feel like they're doing down there. Chaos! They're like crab people. I feel like they're... In Kentucky. Uh, in Indiana. Fuck. Jesus. Fuck and you think Indiana. I'm off the rails. Um, but yeah, like they, they sell barrels. Um, part of their side business is to sell barrels. They were selling barrels, but now they're just moving it to Ezra Brooks and Pinnacle Drinks is buying it. Tell me I'm wrong. Moving on. That's for sure. So, well, no, that's what they're doing because all the new um, Clyde Mays stuff is 13 year MGP. We're going to keep that on the download so we can buy it all up before this episode releases. So, everyone, get your $200 ready, snatch it up. Now, moving some great four year juice. We have no issues with MGP on this show. I'm a big advocate for their rye. Rye at four years is bloody amazing. It's good. So, yeah, piney, it's good. It's exactly. Um, you guys are already there, so I'm going to quickly knock through this. I use utilizing that classic 95.5, even if you're using the words 95.5, everyone's like MGP. Uh, using that 95.5 mash bill, uh, the, there is something classic about it. Um, like, just nosing that, you're just like, that reminds me of something I've had elsewhere. Reminds you of any rye, or any non-Kentucky rye. And yeah. like, it, it's, yeah, yeah. like we, we know, like nosing it, it's just like classic, classic, we've had it somewhere else before, we know where it's coming from, it's good. Now, ah, oh, I wrote something familiar, like I couldn't even remember the word. Um, the For You Juice takes its name from the Emerald Giant Tree, measuring in at 359 feet tall, or 109 meters, which is 8.3 Bourbon Brothers tall. <laughs> Bourbon Brothers Sauruses. Bourbon Brothers Sauruses. <laughs> I'm going to drop the graphic over there somewhere, and um, you guys will hopefully appreciate the callback, because we do love a good callback on this show. Especially when the fiends are involved. Um, it is 1,180 years old. Almost as old as my grandmother. I'm gonna put it down soon. Uh, and hiding away in the Redwood National Park. My grandmother is, I don't know anything about the tree. I haven't seen her in years, she's probably buried somewhere. I gotta call you more, I'm sorry. <laughs> why you disowned me <sighs> but this is why we drink right gents it's not the whiskey anyway <laughs> it's it's nose and palate and it's, it's fine and it's so apple it's and, herbaceous and, and this is like green apple this yeah. is where you want to kick off into <laughs> the uh, nose panel and finish palate tap so gents for the nose um, as you kind of covered it perfectly like pine was the first initial yeah uh first initial no you kind of got um i get a lime zest yeah. to it as well like if we're just like getting limes and just like grating them for yeah. whatever kind of cooking we're doing with lime zest the nose is green it's like pine mm. yeah, lime zest i hope turn green green yeah. apples like yeah. specifically so the granny smith stuff yeah i think, I think there's a like a pepperiness to it yeah 100 yeah, percent. Like, maybe that's the rice spice coming through in the nose but we are definitely here for that. Just it smells awesome. exactly what you'd want it to smell like. Is it ninety five, five? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's four years. MGP. Excuse me. Just That's a good nice. nose. I think there's a sweetness to the nose as well. Yeah, I'm yeah. To what it is? I was gonna. Say, yeah, it's like a not creaminess, but like a. I like a grapiness. I just said the more like a long like. You're my wine guy, so like I'd probably run. Uh, I think grape, like a white. Grape yeah, like note. a white grape. That's what I was kind not of. Not like your grape notes you get in moments. No, no, no. Your red, purple grapes, but this no, is no, a, no. But like a, a white level grape. of grapiness. See, I was going to go down the root of. I was in, that was close. Um, I was going to go down the root of. Um, <laughs> what was almost like the creamy, like the vanilla, almost the vanilla for me. Yeah. yeah, like the sweetness is like. That. I get that. Um, which balances the. That piney 
earthy, Freshness, like yeah. herbalness. Yeah. Just balances it out really we well. We can't go down wine notes. Why not? <laughs> We're not allowed to talk about them anymore. <laughs> wine too much. On the palate though. Leave you. On the palate though. <laughs> yeah, on the palate. <laughs> it's the same things come through. Like, <laughs> oh, that's good. Really? I'm surprised you held it together for that oh, long. Man. Yeah, the um, the um, all together. That kind of like herbally pininess comes through. Like, like chartreuse. Fucking you, chartreuse. Um, the uh, like the apple comes through. Yeah, for yeah. Sure. Like Granny that. Smith apple, not like a super tart one. It's yeah. almost almost sweet Granny Smith. <laughs> Again, that the rice spice that you would expect yeah. from the ninety five five. Um, what's that noise? Um, again, sweetness comes through as well. <laughs> really? So that's how I break you. I like I come up with these really creative jokes, but now I just make noises and like eyeball the glass and that's again. I'm <laughs> <Fucking Grinch. laughs> making even more noises than he was making. <laughs> I haven't made anyone spit their whiskey out. I've gotten JC super close. You are gone. I think this, I think this counts. That, I'd take that as a win. I've been um, trying to break you guys since the start. <laughs> Fucking I don't know why that got me. Um, but yeah, on, like on the palate, I, the rice spice comes through, that herbal note, that pineiness comes through, green it's, apple. Um, mm, green that's what I get. Mm. This sounds weird, but like key lime pie. <laughs> In yeah. that, that like... Mm. That zestiness that you talked about. Yeah, it's that same, like, mm. but not like it's sweet lime notes. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Fucking that's. <nuts. laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> um, yeah, like, it, and, and the sweetness comes through as well, like that vanilla. I was hoping you take a sip, yeah. but I, I just I couldn't sit there and leave you in my mouth for any longer. <laughs> yeah, the sweetness comes through on the, like towards. Jason's holding his dick. I know he is. Well. He's doing <laughs> Towards the finish, the the sweetness comes through from the. He's going for a job of honey barrel. Yeah, yeah, it, it, like it, that it, vanilla. It is like a it, little bit of like caramel, maybe. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's it's treating Almost it rather like, well for like a four year old rye, like a yeah. Uh, it's not the sweetness I'd expect, no. but it's there. It's yeah. welcoming. Yeah. Um, like I was expecting it to be a lot more harsh. Um, I'd probably put it down more like the bullet rye note. Like if we're gonna go. I'm happy to do the side by sides with the. Yeah, bullet. I was gonna say. Yeah, no, that makes sense. They're um, rough. They're gonna be the same. Yeah, um, yeah. Miss Amber, do you mind just grabbing me an extra Glen, please? Um, or just a glass? I don't think I have my mate Glen here. Cause it's got a, like a you might complain in appropriateness, like a good mouthfeel as well. Like the spice is there. That's Thank it. you, my dear. Good little bit of heat to it for a forty five. Oh, very good. It's quality equipment. <laughs> just say no. Oh, look at the... No, no. Is she thin? Or is that... Oh, no, sorry. We are 45% on that one, too. Yeah. So I kind of just want to go... They're about the same colour. I feel like um, my redwood is a little darker. Yeah, I think the same. Um, like, just fractionally. Like a um, uh, bee's dick, if you will. Thank you for that. No worries. That's exactly what I expected. The bullet's way, to me, it's way more like that herbal. Chartreuse, you mean? Yeah, like the, the finish on this isn't yeah. super long. Mm -hmm. That's to me, it's just the herbal note is that fraction higher. No, Whereas this to me is a little sweeter. And yeah. That sweetness just cuts it perfectly. Whereas that to me, just the herbal note takes over a little bit. Yeah. Which is what I've always remembered bullet to be. Whereas this to me, and just bit, like, sorry yeah. to be extremely rude, we're still we're going we're circling back to ninety dollars price difference as well. Yeah, but I would pay ninety dollars for that. And that's and that's what we said last time as well is like, um, and then we're playing with pin hooks as well. Um, if you're like MJP sourced, unless we're using the Castellan key juice. Yeah. Um, but obviously I don't have any pin hook here because I'm a white boy from the hood and I can only afford sixty dollar bottles of bullet. Because what's that noise? Yeah, no, no idea. Oh. But like the thing for me, like the, the thing I would say is, because when we did the pipe dream last time, yeah, for me, like I was like, oh. there's more, yep. there's a lot more bourbons that compare to it. Yeah. Whereas for me, I'm like, there's less rise I think that compared to this at lower price points. 
And so like, yeah, that's my go-to rye. Under hundred dollars is Baby's House. Yeah, says so yeah. The Would you want me to pull another forty-five percent rye? Um, as long as it's like high rye, because you don't have Baby's House, do you? The, the uh, Baby's House is so low on the rye that I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's a sweet rye. Yeah, well, yeah. do you want to? I've got the low Jack. Rye. I've got the Jack single barrel rye. Right. Completely different. Okay, that's what Again, I mean. like, completely and different. That's, and that's why I think this is even slightly different to how the pipe dream Written house. Do you have a written house? Even then, that's... Yeah. No. Oh, mm. I've only got like the 80s bottling. Yeah. Like I think mm. that's... So it's like different again. Because this to me sits along more so, alongside something more like, not really close to it, but I put it in the same bracket of rye as Willet. You just like there, edging like, further and further away like from me. Really sweet rye, like a mix of. Um, and I would probably put Willet in that bracket for me. Well, it's mm. more herbal forward, but still delicious. And that is why I think this is slightly different. It's still herbal to pipe dream yeah. because I'm like, it has. Pipe dream's too similar to too many bourbons. Yeah, and mm. like this has more standout features than pipe dream does. Well, it's definitely fun. yeah. I can I can agree with that. It's definitely stand out for the amount of rye I've had. Like I love rye. Yeah. Um, that's not something we should get twisted on. Compared to bourbons and everything else, there's a lot more. As you covered, you covered it perfectly. I'm just summing up where it's just like there is so many bourbons in the field, and we covered that yeah. um, in a future episode because like obviously release catalog, um, where we're doing like five bourbons for under a hundred bucks. Yeah, and I can tell you that a heap of those are stand up and knock the uh, pipe dream out of the park all day. Yeah. Yeah. This, like, I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to pull a rye that'll be able to compare other than maybe a pin hook, but even then, like, pin hooks are slightly I'm different. I'm, I'm, right. I'm trying to look at what other rye's you've got that would be similar. Um, I've got a Knob Creek, but we're at 100 proof. Yeah, I think Knob and Creek. Kentucky I think Knob, rye. I think Knob Creek's very different. Oh, sorry, that's a sweet rye. Yeah, I was, I was looking at your barrel, your seven years from. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, actually, that that, that be... is a sweet rye. It's a sweet MJP rye again. Um, yeah, like, except like that is a 200 point bottle. Yeah, and then obviously like a hundred dollars difference to 315. Yeah, pretty yeah. Well And then even looking at um, Woodlands Trail, that's yeah. their own stuff. That's another sweet rye. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, but I don't get any of those apple cider. Like, no, it's, no, but I think it's like even this conversation is a good selling point for this for me because I'm like, yeah. well, I can't think of anything immediately that I go, oh, let's compare it to that. Yeah, and yeah. the immediate was bullet, and I'm like, oh, yeah, buy this. But even yeah, because yeah. like I'm thinking at the moment of Whistle Peak Ten, but again, that's Canadian rye. My versus... only other Whistle Peak Ten is my Whistle Peak Seventeen. Mm. Yeah, which we... <laughs> it's like, and that, but that's Canadian not... rye. Yeah, so that's like a like, different rye. grain. So it's a lot different on the palate. It's a lot hotter. Um, this has got like this is, it's not a particularly long finish, but it's quite a nice finish. It's quite sweet. It is sweet on the finish. Yeah. Like mm. I'm surprised at how sweet it is on the finish. Yeah. Mm. Like it's a nice. So it's got and kind of going finish. towards that grapiness as well. Again, white grape, just mm. sort of yeah. confusing people. Yeah. So that red purple grape stuff. No, no, no. Um, white grape, typical of your like white wine stuff. Um, it's a lot drier for that yeah. finish too. Um, enough to get yeah. dry involved. Bite the pillow, bitch. <laughs> I'm glad because I remember, like, when I when key, pillow biting and everything. When Key was kind enough to send the samples, um, for me the three was Lost Monarch, this Pipe Dream, and it's lived up to that. Lost yeah. Monarch's still favourite. This is second. Hundred percent. Pipe Dream third. Um, for me. But, yeah. Um, and looking at it like that, I probably agree. Like doing them like side by side, and like when I was able to sit down and like get freaky with 100 mil samples I was probably leaning more towards like the bourbon being second but like after we're going through all the other bottles for under 100 bucks and it's like do you know what I reckon this ride come in second mm. like because we don't have many rides in here that are actually mm. a true actually statescraft three year three year MJP um, yeah fuck yeah do we want to pull some of that? Uh, that yeah why not I don't know, let me crouch on What's that at? 45? 46? Uh, yeah, I think she's about that. I think she's about 46. Um, look, and I don't get an opportunity to play with that. Um, oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so he does... 48. Like 48. Okay, well, I'm still happy to kind of play with that. That's still in the category there. Um, we do know it's MGP. Um, 
So, fuck yeah, let's go. How much is this bowl? Um, this was... Fuck, what was this? Um, I... Th- shit. I can't imagine being sub 100. I can't... No, so it wasn't sub 100. Um, but it was up there. Um, I wouldn't say it's any higher than 150, but he isn't doing it anymore. Kieran, um, great guy, never got to meet him, but he, I guess, sent me a pair of socks with that because I complained about having to move from my bed to my card to pay for it because he didn't have PayPal. <laughs> so when he sent me the bottle, he sent me a little... Locker. Yeah, I was like, get PayPal because I didn't want to have to get out of bed, so he got me socks. So next time I had to pay for a bottle. Even that's different. Yeah. Uh, how different are we talking? This so like, obviously statescraft isn't on the market anymore. So anyone that has a bottle is actually I had a. That is sweeter though. I, I think yeah. that's sweeter. Oh no, that's very similar though. Extremely similar. I think this is like f- zestier. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, zesty is the right word. Um. I'd be very curious to see how this changes over time. So like now this yeah. is craft. What is like in two weeks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. six weeks. One hundred percent. Um, please. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I don't know if you actually got your hands on a bottle. She's mm. light too. She's like, hey. Yeah, she's. Well, that's the order for me. Yeah. yeah, that's why. That's why. I yeah. Arranged it. Um, I buy a bottle. I'm. I will buy a bottle of this. Thing. I wasn't sure I'd be fine buying one. Happy to send you guys home with samples. Like I know you guys got the hundred mils that Key was graciously able to send it out to us um, just you, as friends love you Kia yeah no like and as I said this episode is sponsored by Honey Barrel um, he has been amazing to send me each of the bottles and um, even the colour difference yeah. just for like reviews and everything else and um, uh, this stuff is cracker it's good um, and we don't see much four year old MGP in Australia in the rise yeah like in the rice, or actually in the bourbon category too. Cougar, that's MGP. You've got Bearded Lady, that's MGP. No, oh, it's Bearded Lady MGP. I'm not sure it is. Oh, Unless it's Kentucky, if it's Kentucky, then it's Kelly Marstown. But I thought it was MGP for some reason. Mm. I just think for rye in Australia, I think this has a place. A place. It no, does, I yeah. Know. I agree. It does. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how we move because obviously as bourbon culture is popping and I spoke about it last time as well uh, a lot more brands are paying attention to the Australian market us being like the number two bourbon importer for the world um, uh, like outside of Japan Japan being number one obviously uh, we're going to see start seeing more heavy hitting brands land so it'll be interesting to see how the market looks in 12 to 24 months. You guys have obviously been in the game longer than me, but right now, this rye, cracker. Yeah. Um, I That is at the top of my pick list for... Um, okay, so outside of MGP rye, what are we looking at? Because um, we've got, that's in the Willet price range. Yeah, Willet price range um, of um, Ross. Rossville Union. Uh, yeah, Rossville Union. Um, that's both, what one twenty-five. Could probably pick up a Pikesville if you're lucky. Pikesville well, well, Pikesville's forty-five, so same as that. Yeah. yeah. But Rossville and well. Willett are both higher ABVs. So mm-hmm. Rossville similar age. Rossville Union um, is a seven-year car strength at one sixty. My my Willett is fifty-four and a half. Yeah, it'd be, yeah. An, it'd be so one oh nine. Yeah, unfair Ferris. Yeah, yeah. Um, Pike Hill's probably the best bet, but again, that's a six year Heaven Hill, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So like, I guess everything. What we're saying is everything has a like a place in the market. Yeah. Um, I think like if you're somebody who enjoys like a sweet rye, like a Mictus, uh, a Sars rye, even stuff, a Knob yeah. Creek to some extent. Like I think. No, Creek's down. No, Mictus rye. It's probably oh, a, yeah. a jump up from that because its price range is. Fifty dollars more, sixty dollars more. Well, for me, if you like a classic rye, like a, a bullet rye, a bullet yeah, rye, yeah, um, some of the pinhook stuff. Um, that's good. I, Actually, I, I yeah. Recommend that Do you know what? Well, that's probably a good avenue to play. Like, if you can't get your hands on a six-year-old pinhook, um, maybe look at an Emerald Giant. I actually know a guy who carries hands on a six-year-old. Yeah. Um, I actually Fuck heard there was a guy that just joined the Discord that had a six-year pinhook. He's not looking at selling to anyone because you can't. Um, yeah. 
But um, I hope he does open it and share it with some of the group members. And no, that's not good. Jacob. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if anyone knows of a um, six-year-old pinhook that's looking to um, find a new home, I'm happy to take it off your hands. Yeah. I'll pay <laughs> you to pour it down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's good that there's a shake on a Jacob this week and not on you. So um, yeah. we're here for it. Yeah, um, you want to do verdict? So, yeah, like, um, obviously we kind of covered all the bases. You said, what, the short, I because I kind of missed the finish there. The finish was kind of like, like I say, it drops off, but mm. in a way that's like, it's sweeter it's than fine. I expected to be. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, sorry. Initially on the pallet, the spice comes through, that herbal note comes through, yeah. and then it just drops like... Kind of like, like plateaus out. Yeah, with like the nice sweetness. Yeah. Mouth feels good. It's just a... Heap of spice on the tip of the tongue there as well. Which um, is really odd because you typically find that at the yeah. back of the palate for um, the rise. So it's very interesting. Like it yeah. makes me feel like it's going to be a higher um, corn mash bill, but like ninety five five, it's not. Yeah. It's the opposite. It's um, just a good sipper. Like you pull that on a week now, you get around with it. Like Do you know? I think we're point. we're there for the Redwood brand. It's like these are easy sippers. Yeah. Like super approachable if you're looking for entry level kind of drinks. As well, forty five percent ninety proof. Um and the price range that we're now moving to for whiskies. Yeah. Um unfortunately like you unfortunately but like sippers hitting at hundred and fifty bucks, like you're not gonna punch a bottle. But like drinking culture's changing as well. Yeah. It's like you're going from smashing a bottle of thirty seven percent um Jim Beam white label to kick him back with a couple of mates and you're going to crack a $150 bottle and you're all going to have a good time, share some memories yeah, yeah. Um, and talk a bit of shit. Cool, like, cool company as well. Like, doing some cool stuff with and Brandon's cool. Yeah. Um, the fact that we have a tree. They plant a tree. Like, it's, yep. Yep. Like, it's such a good addition. I'm glad this is in Australia. Yeah, um, so. What do they say? So 689,000 something and 11? Yeah. You show it. As again. of, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll use the same graphic or I'll just snip a new Updated. one off the website. Cool. Um, but they didn't actually update it in like the week that it took me to edit it. So, um, but hadn't either sold any bottles or hadn't planted any trees. So, um, either or, both. Either either. Um, maybe both. Let's hope they're selling bottles though, because we keep buying them. Correct. So, um, yeah, we might wrap it up there. Um, gents, please buy it, bar or pass me. Buy it. I will be buying. I also will be buying. Very good. Highly recommend. And um, like I obviously have a bottle um, and another, I guess another rye to add to the collection, maybe like have another rye off, um, not another, but a rye off, um, throw like maybe some heavy hitting rye in there, do it blind um, yeah. and kind of just like lay it up and see what will stack out on top. Yeah. Um, because we don't have any of those classic easy sipping rye under that like um, 100 proof. They fall into that like more herb. Like, like yeah, herb. that chartreuse, if you will. <laughs> you fuck. Yes. Yeah. You go to one lunch we'll, with we'll, Ben. We'll go. We'll go with that. You yeah. go to one lunch with Ben, and you won't shut up. You know, think you're cultured. You're not yeah. thinking cultured. Yeah. White boy from the hood is cultured. There we go. That is all we want from this. Um, but yeah, thank you, gents, for joining me this thank evening. You, yeah. Thank you for um, helping me crack these bottles because it is fun to have you on every week. Um, is there anything you guys want to plug other than me? I'll plug you. Yeah. Right after this. Ooh. Wow. wow. <laughs> um, well, when you're done, um, JC, is there anything you want to plug? Nothing for me. Um, <laughs> check out Redwood. Check out Redwood. Yeah, Redwood. There you go. Um, and and right. yeah, just huge love to KR and Honey Barrel for getting these bottles out to A, general public, B, Discord, C, us, because like we're extremely grateful to have it and just be able to talk shit about it because, um, you know, it's like, it's, it's good easy sip and juice so like I'll I'll definitely pick up another bottle when I finish this one off especially for a rye off because um I feel like there's another rye July coming in August or something <laughs> we're now September but hey yeah whatever yeah August in July right whatever yeah, I feel like I've got three looks he's JC um <laughs> Jacob were you? <laughs> were you? Uh, this is know, Jeremy his jacket Jack and the bottle, not Jack in the bottle. Um, <laughs> that's, a di- that's a different <laughs> it's a different channel. Um, it's a private this channel. This is Whiskey Fire. I'm where he's uh, only fans is. Thank you very much. JC Private X. <laughs> Click on the link to find it. Priv X. Yeah. Priv X. It's jacking off in a bottle. I'm Jez. Stay thirsty. Don't drink out of Jack's bottle. She's a bit salty. Anyway.
Love y'all. Stay thirsty. Peace. Peace.